Listening test. In this section, you'll demonstrate your ability to understand spoken English. This is a shortened version of the TOEIC listening test with half the usual number of questions. You don't need to write anything down. Answers are provided immediately after each question. There are four parts and directions will be given for each. Let's begin. Let's kick off with part one, listening photographs. Get ready to analyze some images and pick the best response. Number one. A. A group of students is studying in a library. B. A barista is serving drinks to customers. C. A woman is drawing on a blueprint in a shopping mall. D. People are boarding a flight at an airport. The correct answer is C. A woman is drawing on a blueprint in a shopping mall. Number 2. A. Workers are preparing for a business meeting in a boardroom. B. A woman is explaining a project at a conference. C. A group of people is attending a meeting in an office. D. A teacher is giving a presentation to students in a classroom. The correct answer is D. A teacher is giving a presentation to students in a classroom. Number 3. A. Two co-workers are discussing a project at a desk. B. A man is giving a presentation to a group. C. A group of people is attending a meeting in a conference room. D. A man is typing on a laptop while a woman is observing. The correct answer is D. A man is typing on a laptop while a woman is observing. Number 4. A. Several people are working in a construction site. B. A group of people is having a meeting in an office. C. A man is sitting at a restaurant table, using a tablet. D. A woman is jogging in a park. The correct answer is C. A man is sitting at a restaurant table. Number 5. A. The person is reading a document. B. The manager is speaking. C. The worker is serving food. D. Two people are serving food. The correct answer is D. Two people are serving food. Number 6. A. The person is reading a document. B. People are talking to each other. C. The waiter is serving food. D. The manager is making a phone call. The correct answer is C. The waiter is serving food. Now, let's move on to part two. Listening, question response. Time to sharpen your listening skills and pick the correct replies. Number one. Are you attending the seminar? A. It costs too much. B. I read the summary. C. Yes, I will be there. The correct answer is C. Yes, I will be there. Number 2. Is the webinar free? A. Yes, it is. B. No, it's for next week. C. It's about marketing. The correct answer is A. Yes, it is. Number 3. Will you attend the seminar? A. Yes, I will. B. It starts at 10 a.m. C. The seminar is about health. The correct answer is A. Yes, I will. Number 4. Do you know where Mr. Smith is? A. He is the project manager. B. He'll be back soon. C. He's in a meeting. The correct answer is C. He's in a meeting. Number 5. Who is going to lead the project? A. The project is in its early stages. B. Karen will lead the project. C. We need more resources. The correct answer is B. Karen will lead the project. Number 6. 
How can I get to the nearest bus stop? A. Turn right at the corner. B. I don't have a ticket. C. No, thank you. The correct answer is A. Turn right at the corner. Number 7. Who is presenting the project today? A. I'll attend the meeting. B. It's John's turn today. C. I think the project is great. The correct answer is B. It's John's turn today. Number 8. Did Frank finish the project report? A. Ask him directly. B. Yes, he submitted it yesterday. C. He was working on it. The correct answer is B. Yes, he submitted it yesterday. Number 9. Did you finish the report I asked for? A. I will complete it by tomorrow. B. I need your signature for approval. C. The printer is out of paper. The correct answer is A. I will complete it by tomorrow. Number 10. Have they confirmed the meeting time yet? A. We met last week. B. I checked the schedule. C. No, they haven't. The correct answer is C. No, they haven't. Number 11. Where can I find the annual report? A. No, it's not available. B. I'll prepare it soon. C. In the company intranet. The correct answer is C. In the company intranet. Number 12. How often do you take the bus to work? A. Once or twice a week. B. No, I don't like taking the bus. C. The bus stop is near my house. The correct answer is A. Once or twice a week. Great job so far. Next is part three. Listening, conversations. Listen carefully to short dialogues and answer the questions that follow. Number one. Are you free for lunch today? I have a meeting until 12.30. How about 1 p.m.? That sounds good. Where should we meet? Let's try the new cafe around the corner. What time will they meet for lunch? A. At 12 p.m. B. At 1 p.m. C. At 1.30 p.m. The correct answer is B. At 1 p.m. Number 2. I need to reschedule our meeting from Friday to Thursday. I have a conflict on Thursday morning, but I'm free in the afternoon. Can we do 2 p.m.? That works for me. When will the rescheduled meeting take place? A. Thursday morning. B. Thursday afternoon at 2 p.m. C. Friday morning. The correct answer is B. Thursday afternoon at 2 p.m. Number 3. Do you know if the product launch has been scheduled? Yes, it's set for next Wednesday at 10 a.m. Perfect. I'll notify the team. Great. See you there. When is the product launch? A. This Wednesday. B. Next Wednesday. C. Next Friday. The correct answer is B. Next Wednesday. Number 4. Can you attend the training session on Wednesday? I have another commitment that day. Any chance we can reschedule? I'll check with the trainer and get back to you. What does the woman need to do? A. Reschedule her commitment. B. Attend the session. C. Check with the trainer. The correct answer is C. Check with the trainer. Number 5. Do we have any meetings scheduled for today? Yes, we have a team meeting at 2 p.m. and a client call at 4 p.m. Okay, thanks for the heads up. No problem. When is the client call? A. At 4 p.m. B. At 3 p.m. C. At 2 p.m. The correct answer is 
A. At 4 p.m. Number 6. Can you join the conference call at 10 a.m.? I have another meeting at that time. How about 11 a.m. then? Yes, that works. I'll see you then. When is the conference call scheduled? A. At 11 a.m. B. At 10 a.m. C. At 9 a.m. The correct answer is A. At 11 a.m. Number 7. I'm thinking of attending the training seminar next Wednesday. Which topic are they covering? It's on advanced project management techniques. That sounds really useful. I might join you. What is the seminar about? A. Advanced project management techniques. B. Client relationship management. C. Basic project management. The correct answer is A. Advanced project management techniques. Number 8. Have you finished the report for the client meeting tomorrow? Almost. I'll need a few more hours. Can you email it to me by noon? Sure, I'll make sure it's ready by then. When will the man have the report ready? A. In the morning. B. In the evening. C. By noon. The correct answer is... C. By noon. Number 9. Have you booked our flights for the conference yet? Yes, we're flying out next Friday at 10 a.m. Perfect. I'll arrange the transportation to the airport. Great. I'll forward you the booking details. Yes. When are they flying out? A. Next Friday. B. Next Wednesday. C. Next Monday. The correct answer is... A. Next Friday. Number 10. We're hosting a client dinner on Thursday. Do you need me to attend? Yes. It would be great if you could join us. I'll clear my schedule for that evening. When is the client dinner? A. On Thursday. B. On Wednesday. C. On Friday. The correct answer is... A. On Thursday. Number 11. The client requested an update on the project status. I have compiled the report and will send it over today. Excellent. I'll review it before forwarding to the client. Thanks. We want to ensure everything is accurate. Who is the report intended for? A. The team. B. The manager. C. The client. The correct answer is... C. The client. Number 12. I'm planning to attend the trade show in Vegas. When is it? It starts this Friday. I'll make sure all materials are ready. When does the trade show start? A. Friday. B. Thursday. C. Saturday. The correct answer is... A. Friday. Let's dive into Part 4. Listening Talks. You'll hear brief talks or speeches, so stay focused for the questions. Number one. Don't miss the annual Spring Festival happening this weekend at the town square. There will be live music, food stalls, and a craft market. Please bring your reusable bags and water bottles to minimize waste. We look forward to celebrating with you. When is the Spring Festival happening? A. This weekend. B. Tomorrow. C. Next weekend. The correct answer is C. This weekend. Number 2. Attention. Residents, the community center will be hosting a free health screening event this Thursday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Services will include blood pressure checks, cholesterol screenings, and nutritional advice. No appointment is necessary. When is the free health screening event? A. This Wednesday. B. This Thursday. C. This Friday. The correct answer is B. This Thursday. Number 3. Our new gym facility offers state-of-the-art equipment and a variety of fitness classes. We have memberships to fit every lifestyle and budget. 
Sign up now and receive a free personal training session. Visit our front desk for more details. What is the special offer for new members? A. Free personal training session. B. A free gym bag. C. A discount on membership. The correct answer is B. Free personal training session. Number 4. Hi, pet owners. Are you looking for high-quality pet food? Look no further than Paws and Claws Pet Store. For this month only, we are offering a buy one, get one free deal on all dog and cat food. Visit us today to take advantage of this amazing offer and make your pets happy and healthy. What special offer is available at the pet store? A. Buy one, get one free on pet food. B. Free grooming session. C. Discount on accessories. The correct answer is A. Buy one, get one free on pet food. Number 5. Don't miss our summer sale event. All items in store are up to 50% off until the end of the month. This is the perfect time to grab summer clothing, accessories, and more at unbeatable prices. Visit us now for the best deals. How long will the summer sale event last? A. Until the weekend. B. Until the end of the month. C. One week only. The correct answer is B. Until the end of the month. Number 6. Our spring festival will begin at 10 a.m. and include live music, food stalls, and craft booths. Don't miss the local band performance at noon. It's a great event for families and friends to enjoy together. What time does the local band performance start? A. In the evening. B. At noon. C. At 10 a.m. The correct answer is B. At noon. Number 7. Our company is launching a new recycling initiative. Employees are encouraged to separate their waste into recyclable and non-recyclable bins provided on each floor. This effort will significantly reduce our environmental impact. Let's all contribute to a greener workplace. What are employees encouraged to do? A. Separate waste into bins. B. Reuse old materials. C. Take shorter breaks. The correct answer is A. Separate waste into bins. Number 8. Attention library patrons, we are pleased to announce the launch of our new book club. Meetings will be held every first Wednesday of the month. Please sign up at the front desk if you are interested in joining. How often will the book club meetings be held? A. Every first Wednesday of the month. B. Every Monday. C. Every Friday. The correct answer is A. Every first Wednesday of the month. Number 9. Thank you for joining today's business seminar. We will cover efficient project management techniques. Remember to take notes and network during the breaks. The event will conclude with a Q&A session. What should participants do during the breaks? A. Prepare for Q&A. B. Leave the venue. C. Network with others. The correct answer is C. Network with others. Number 10. We are pleased to announce the launch of our new product line next month. These innovative products are designed to enhance your daily life. Stay tuned for more details on our website. Don't miss the special discount for early adopters. Don't us us uh. When will the new product line be launched? A. Tomorrow. B. Next week. C. Next month. The correct answer is A. Next month. Number 11. We are delighted to have you at our company's annual meeting. This year, we will discuss the major milestones achieved and our future plans. After the presentations, there will be a Q&A session followed by a networking lunch at 12.30 p.m. When will the networking lunch take place? A. 
at 12.30 p.m. b. at 1 p.m. c. at 11 a.m. The correct answer is c. at 12.30 p.m. Number 12. Good evening, travelers. This is an important announcement. Due to unforeseen weather conditions, all flights departing before noon tomorrow are expected to be delayed. Please check the flight information screens for updates and contact your airline for further assistance. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. Thank you for your patience. Why are the flights delayed? A. Technical issues. B. Overbooking. C. Unforeseen weather conditions. The correct answer is C. Unforeseen weather conditions. Reading test. In this section, you'll demonstrate your ability to understand written English. This is a shortened version of the TOEIC reading test with half the usual number of questions. No need to rush, just follow along, and answers will be provided after each question. There are three parts, and directions will be given for each. Let's begin! Time for the reading section. Let's start with part five. Incomplete sentences. Fill in the blanks with the correct words. Number one, she succeeded. Convincing the board to approve the project. A, to, B, in, C, on, D, with. The correct answer is B, in. Number two, he needs his performance to meet the company's expectations. A. Improved. B. To improve. C. Improve. D. Improving. The correct answer is B. To improve. Number three. She. To complete the project next week. A. Is planning. B. Has planned. C. Plans. D. Planned. The correct answer is A. Is planning. Number four. The meeting was postponed. The weather. A. In spite of. B. Despite. C. Because of. D. Because. The correct answer is C. Because of. Number five. We can discuss the project. The meeting tomorrow. A. By. B. At. C. In. D. During. The correct answer is. D. During. Number six. She. The document when I asked her for help. A. Has submitted. B. Will submit. C. Was submitting. D. Had already submitted. The correct answer is D. Had already submitted. Number 7. If it Tomorrow, we will reschedule the event. A. Will rain. B. Rained. C. Rains. D. Has rained. The correct answer is C. Rains. Number 8. He. To the office yesterday when it started raining. A. Has walked. B. Walked. C. Was walking. D. Walks. The correct answer is C. Was walking. Number 9. The company. Its financial report annually. A. Published. B. Is publishing. C. Has published. D. Publishes. The correct answer is D. Publishes. Number 10. The package. Delivered by tomorrow. A. Will be. B. Is. C. Has been. D. Was. The correct answer is A. Will be. Number 11. The instructions were 
Confusing for me to follow. A. Enough. B. To. C. Such. D. So. The correct answer is B. 2. Number 12. The report was finished. The deadline A. At. B. Before. C. In. D. By. The correct answer is B. Before. Next up is Part 6. Reading, Text Completion. Complete each text by choosing the best answer for the single gap. Number 1. The new policy is designed to ensure that all employees are aware of their responsibilities. A. Fully. B. Fulfillment. C. Full. D. Fullest. The correct answer is A. Fully. Number 2. Dear Candidates, we appreciate your interest in our company. Interview schedules will be sent out shortly. Please make sure to reply. To confirm your availability. Regards, Recruitment Team. A. Prompting. B. Prompt. C. Prompted. D. Promptly. The correct answer is D. Promptly. Number 3. All employees are required to The new safety protocols starting next Monday. A. Follower. B. Follow. C. Follows. D. Following. The correct answer is B. Follow. Number 4. Hello team. Just a reminder to submit your project. By this Friday. Late submissions will not be accepted. Thank you. A. Reported. B. Reports. C. Reporting. D. Report. The correct answer is B. Reports. Number 5. Dear Mr. Johnson, we apologize for the inconvenience you have experienced. Dazed. Your complaint has been I. We will take immediate action. Regards, Customer Service Team. A. Receipt. B. Received. C. Receive. D. Receiving. The correct answer is B. Received. Number 6. Please ensure all expense reports are Failure to do so may result in delayed reimbursements. A. Submissions on time. B. Submission on time. C. Submitted on time. D. Submitting on time. The correct answer is C. Submitted on time. And finally, Part 7. Reading. Reading comprehension. Get ready to read passages and answer questions based on them. Let's finish strong. Number 1. Dear Patrons, we are excited to announce that our library will extend its hours starting next month. The new schedule will include evening hours on weekdays and additional hours on weekends. Visit our website for full details. Sincerely, the library staff. What change is being announced? A. Extended library hours. B. New book collection. C. A renovation project. The correct answer is a. Extended library hours. Number 2. To all customers, we are introducing a new line of eco-friendly products next month. These items are made from sustainable materials and are designed to reduce your environmental impact. Stay tuned for more details on our website. What is being introduced? A. An online sale. B. A loyalty program. C. A line of eco-friendly products. The correct answer is C. A line of eco-friendly products. Number 3. Attention all employees. The company will be hosting a charity run on Saturday, November 5th. Participants can sign up via the link sent to your email. 
Let's come together for a great cause and support our local community. Regards, Event Committee. What is the event announced in the notice? A. A team building workshop. B. A company picnic. C. A charity run. The correct answer is C. A charity run. Number 4. Dear customers, we are excited to announce the grand opening of our new store in downtown Chicago. To celebrate, we are offering a 20% discount on all purchases made during the first week. Visit us at 123 Main Street starting Monday, September 15th. We look forward to welcoming you. Sincerely, the management team. What is the purpose of this announcement? A. To offer a permanent discount. B. To announce a store closure. C. To inform about a new store opening. The correct answer is C. To inform about a new store opening. Number 5. Our latest newsletter is now available online. This issue includes updates on our recent projects, employee spotlights, and and upcoming events. Visit our website to read more and stay informed. What can readers find in the newsletter? A. Product reviews. B. Job listings. C. Updates on recent projects. The correct answer is C. Updates on recent projects. Number 6. Attention employees. Due to a scheduled maintenance activity, the office internet will be down from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. this Friday. Please plan your tasks accordingly. We apologize for any inconvenience and appreciate your understanding. What is the main purpose of this notice? A. To announce a company event. B. To introduce new office rules. C. To inform about internet downtime. The correct answer is C. To inform about internet downtime. Number 7. Dear team, I'm pleased to announce that our project proposal has been approved. We'll begin the initial planning phase starting next Monday. Thank you for your dedication and hard work. Let's collaborate to ensure success. Best regards, project manager. What has been approved? A. A vacation request. B. A budget increase. C. The project proposal. The correct answer is C. The project proposal. Number 8. Dear customers, we're happy to introduce our new loyalty program, Earn Points with Every Purchase, which can be redeemed for discounts on future orders. Sign up today and receive bonus points. Thank you for being a valued customer. Regards. Customer service. What is being introduced in the announcement? A. A change in store hours. B. A new loyalty program. C. A price increase. The correct answer is B. A new loyalty program. Number 9. To all employees, starting next month, the company will implement a new flexible working hours policy. This change aims to provide better work-life balance and improve productivity. More details will be shared in the upcoming staff meeting. What is the reason for implementing the new policy? A. To reduce employee wages. B. To provide better work-life balance. C. To extend working hours. The correct answer is B. To increase office space. Number 10. Dear employees, this month's team meeting has been rescheduled to the third Tuesday at 2 p.m. in Conference Room B. Please prepare your departmental updates and come ready to discuss our quarterly goals. Coffee and snacks will be provided. Thank you for your cooperation. Best regards, management. What is the purpose of this notice? A. To discuss new hires. B. To announce a rescheduled team meeting. C. To inform about a pay raise. The correct answer is B. To announce a staff party. Number 11. Friends and neighbors, 
The annual community picnic will take place on Saturday, July 20th at Riverside Park. Join us for an afternoon of games, food, and fun. Bring your family and friends. We hope to see you there. Best, event organizers. What is the announcement about? A. A community picnic. B. A neighborhood watch meeting. C. A charity fundraiser. The correct answer is A. A community picnic. Number 12. We are pleased to inform you that the annual shareholders meeting will take place on November 25th at 10 a.m. in the main conference hall. Attendance is highly encouraged as we will be discussing the company's future plans and financial performance. Please RSVP by November 20th. What is the purpose of this announcement? A. To announce a company closure. B. To introduce new shareholders. C. To notify about a meeting. The correct answer is C. To notify about a meeting. Number 13. Attention residents. Due to upcoming maintenance work, there will be a planned water outage on Friday, May 12th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Please store water in advance and plan accordingly. We apologize for any inconvenience. Regards, the maintenance team. What is the subject of this notice? A. A new water system. B. A planned water outage. C. A community event. The correct answer is B. A planned water outage. Number 14. Dear team, as part of our sustainability efforts, we are introducing a new recycling program starting next month. Please familiarize yourself with the guidelines and make use of the recycling bins provided in the common areas. Let's work together to reduce our environmental impact. Regards, Sustainability Committee. What is the email introducing? A. A new recycling program. B. A new carpooling service. C. An office renovation. The correct answer is A. A new recycling program. Number 15. This is to inform all tenants that the parking lot will undergo resurfacing on May 5th. Please keep your vehicles at alternate parking areas during this time. Thank you for your cooperation, management. What will happen to the parking lot on May 5th? A. It will be closed permanently. B. It will undergo resurfacing. C. It will have a security upgrade. The correct answer is B. It will undergo resurfacing. Number 16. Attention subscribers. We are pleased to announce the launch of our new mobile app. Starting next Monday, you can download the app to access exclusive content, easy navigation, and personalized notifications. Don't miss out on this enhanced experience. Download it from the App Store or Google Play. Cheers, the development team. What is the main topic of this announcement? A. The discontinuation of a service. B. The launch of a new mobile app. C. A scheduled maintenance update. The correct answer is B. The launch of a new mobile app. Number 17. Dear Patrons, Please note that our library will be closed for inventory checks from December 10th to December 12th. We appreciate your patience and apologize for any inconvenience. Thank you, library staff. Why will the library be closed? A. For staff training. B. For renovations. C. For inventory checks. The correct answer is C. For inventory checks. Number 18. Dear shareholders, our next quarterly meeting is scheduled for November 30th at 10 a.m. in the main conference hall. We will discuss the company's financial performance and future strategies. Your participation is appreciated. Sincerely, the Board of Directors. What is the purpose of the quarterly meeting? A. To plan a company outing. B. To discuss financial performance and future strategies. C. To organize an office event.
The correct answer is B. To discuss financial performance and future strategies.